Hey, what's up? It's Jake from Nimbus DevOps, and I've got one more question to answer tonight, and that is how to, let's see, where was it? Here it is. Uh, yeah, how to make EKS in a multi-region infrastructure using Terraform. So <clears throat> I can Terraform, Terraformize? Terraformize, that's a new word, okay. Uh, this for you, but I want to give you the resources to try to do it to yourself. So I went ahead and responded and gave the links, but I want to go over how I got to this point. So first of all, there is an AWS GitHub repo that you can go find the best practice guide for reliability specifically. And it talks about exactly how to do this with Fargate, self-managed workers, managed node groups, self-managed node uh, managed workers, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so taking this into account, um, and this is going to be the AWS CLI and Helm chart version of this that, that, that they chose to use, but essentially the multi-region cluster is going to have your two regions, right? And then you're going to have your people running their kubectl commands, and then you're going to have users hitting route 53. And what they chose to do because of the multi-region is to use a global accelerator to go between two load balancers, one per region. Now we see here in this VPC that we've got two availability zones, and then we've got one node in each availability zone, and then our uh, our cluster over here in this VPC. So you can set this multi-region up and do active failover or active active scenario. So it's up to you what you want to do. There's a cost associated with something like active active. I mean, everybody would love to have active active, but it is very expensive. So, um, you know, and a global accelerator can also add some uh, some cost to that as well. But if you look here, there's a blog post link in this multi-region cluster diagram. And if you go read through this, let me scroll up to the top. Uh, it goes over and this uh, it's from December 2020. Um, on operating a multi-region stateless app using EKS. And it takes this exact scenario, and this is a workshop that was done in the past, and it uses the AWS CLI and then EKS control, uh, kube control, and Helm to, to make this happen. So really all you have to do is create the cluster, right? And it's gonna go ahead and provide the code for you. So you export all these variables, install your load balancer, uh, create your service accounts and all that stuff. And you might not need to do this because you already have a service account or whatever. So you just update this to make sense for what you need to do. The, we have a Helm repo uh, to use Helm charts and stuff like that. So it depends on how you're deploying your Kubernetes stuff as well, right? So I recommend this. This is actually a pretty good, uh, a pretty good workshop that they put together. And then you can just apply uh, ref master from this uh, and if you have your own repo where you keep your charts then you can uh, do that as well and you can pass versions so in here we're going to upgrade the load balancer and then repeat the, step, the steps for the second cluster once you've got that cluster up and running which EKS does take a long time then you can deploy your sample app and you can get your app up and running you repeat the primary and then you should be able to curl the address. Once you have that running, that's when you wanna go ahead and, and configure your global accelerator. And um, it'll be a multi-region situation and uh, all the bash for this is provided very, very conveniently for you. Note that they are doing uh, inbound TCP port 80. So if that doesn't work for you, then you need to go ahead and change that as well. Uh, but you can just basically take this and uh, terraformize it. If you'd like me to do that, I can go ahead and <laughs> and translate this into uh, Terraform and spit some HCL files out for you if you'd like. But if not, um, everything in here is everything you need um, to get started and to do this. But I know it was kind of something you were asking about, not necessarily a uh, demonstration that you wanted, but just to know about how to do it and whatnot. So this is a really good guide for getting started. Whether you want to do it this way or not is up to you, but um, you would just essentially take all of this and convert it into Terraform. And you could easily do that um, with, you know, Bash and some templates and things like that, but you might want to 
uh, use the Terraform provider instead of EKSCTL and whatnot. However, I actually like this uh, way that they did it because when it comes to Kubernetes, um, I don't like providing on uh, providers because sometimes they change <laughs> and they don't tell you when they're going to change. Uh, and you can version this out. So whether you use kubectl or if you use ekstl and helm or just straight up terraform um, in either scenario make sure that you're locking in your versions of whatever your tool that you're using so that when it updates uh, your stuff doesn't break so anyways that's how i found this information if you think a multi-region slash multi-az eks uh, video is something that you'd like to see then um, I can go ahead and start working on this it will take a little while to convert this into HCL but if you uh, want me to I can't so there you go uh, if you got any questions let me know but if not hopefully this uh, I'll provide all these links in this video but hopefully this gives you what you need to move forward